hello guys uh, today i will be showing you how to calculate uh, the rl by rise and fall method uh, now you can pause the video and note down the readings that i have mentioned above so firstly we will be uh, making the diagram so that you can get the idea of the respective readings here and first we will start from the first point and this way we can be going on further uh, now you have to uh, uh, draw the pointers uh, as according to the question the distance between the points will be given in the question as in this question it is 20 meters uh, you people have been given already the measurement of uh, the reading So I will be showing you later on the value of the distance between every point. So this way we can calculate the number of readings and draw the diagram. So we have to draw the diagram carefully so that there would be no error for the Now because uh, you will be thinking how uh, the diagram is being made as all the readings in this question uh, are decreasing so uh, the ground level will be you know decreasing and that's why I have uh, made the figure this way. Now at this point uh, the instru ha instrument has been changed at E point it is the changing point there at E so we call this point change of instrument point so as all the distances between the points is same we can mark them as I am doing this way now we will be providing some space below so that uh, we can measure the height and the distance so uh, as there are eight readings and every uh, reading is at the distance of 20 so we will be calculating it as it comes 160 meter so this is the value of h the distance from first point to last point so the elevation of uh, the benchmark will be V. Now you can note down the readings the way I am doing here. So this reading uh, is set off reading. Here it is the backside reading at uh, change of instrument point. And the values at the end are called a foresight values and at the starting it is called a backside reading so we will be uh, making here the notings of every point here is the instrument the theodolite by which we calculate the stop readings now this way you can make the table for the readings to calculate the uh, RL 
of the points so in first point we will be mentioning the station and in second we will be mentioning backside reading in thir third we will be representing is intermediate side reading then foresight then fall as there is no rise so i didn't mention it and then rl and the remarks now you can uh, make the boxes there according to the number of readings available in the question now here we will be mentioning the uh, names of points accordingly and here we will be mentioning the back side reading this way and here intermediate side reading the second one as up to d the, these are intermediate sides so we will be mentioning them in the column of intermediate sides so no hurry is required in this question so that we couldn't get any error now at the point of e there is a back side reading that's why it has been mentioned in e so accordingly the intermediate side is uh, uh, written over there and this way we can mention the reading is in the table so the rl is of uh, benchmark is already mentioned in the question and you can pause the video and note it down so we can calculate here the readings of fall so guys we will be calculating the value of fall by uh, last reading minus current reading as there is the reading first one 1.030 which is being subtracted from 0 0.385 so this way we can get the values of fall last reading minus current reading and we can get the values of fall if there would have been uh, rise then we would be doing it the same way we are calculating fall if the value would have been positive then it will be in uh, rise column now we will be read, uh, here calculating rl which we can obtain uh, by doing the subtraction of values last rl minus the current fall reading so this way you can calculate the rl of the points Here it comes to 0 0.8252 2. so this way we can calculate the respective rls of the pointers and now we'll be mentioning the remarks over here as it is the benchmark and at point e it is the changing point and at h it is temporary benchmark so we will be calculating this way the values so we you can uh, you can also mention it on your notes this way we have to follow the readings of back side and intermediate side now we will be calculating uh, the gradient for that first we have to see the readings as it is B the distance from benchmark to the last
स्टाफ लेवल रीडिंग नो वी विल बी कैलकुलेटिंग ग्रेडियंट एंड फॉर दैट वी हैव वी नो दैट समेशन ऑफ राइज माइनस समेशन ऑफ ऑल इज इक्वल टू इज इक्वल टू सम वैल्यू दैट वी विल बी मैंशनिंग ओवर देयर सो वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट द वैल्यू समेशन ऑफ राइज माइनस समेशन ऑफ ऑल एंड इट कमज माइनस एट पॉइंट वन सिक्स एंड नाउ द लास्ट आर एल माइनस द फर्स्ट आर एल this way which is 2.08.125 and here comes the value of Um, rise minus summation of rise minus summation of fall. So we can write it here. Now we know that gradient is equal to two v over h. So we already calculated the value of v here, and h we already know, which is one sixty meter. So the value comes out one over nineteen point sixty one. So this is our value of gradient. Thank you for watching the video please do subscribe and like thank you